They always say that in politics there is no permanent friend and there is no permanent enemy. I think it is time for us to make an exemption on these two gentlemen, Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto. These two gentlemen uh, seem to be having some permanent enmity developing its roots so much. Na mimi nataka nimwambie rafiki yangu Uhuru hata wewe wachana na huyu mzee. Waacha kumpatia pesa ya kununua watu wa Mungiki wachome Nairobi. Wewe umekuwa rais, wewe kuwa muungwana. Tulikuunga mkono wakati ulikuwa rais wetu. Wewe wachana uliunga mtu ya e, kitendawili mkono tukamwangusha wachana na yeye na usipo wachana na yeye hata wewe tutakusafirisha na huyo kitendawili wako. Why do you think William Ruto is so bitter with Uru Kenyatta? Do you also think that it could be the leaders of Mount Kenya, these grassroots, grassroots leaders of Mount Kenya, who are really belittling Uhuru Kenyatta to the extent that whatever they tell Ruto about um, the son of Jomo, Ruto develops that kind of a habit where you inherit the enemy of your friend to be your enemy. What do you think? William Ruto is unleashing all his artilleries to attack Uhuru Kenyatta. Why is Uhuru Kenyatta now the main target of William Ruto, even more than Raila Odinga? I just have some two, three points to give you, and then we call it a time. And so, ladies and gentlemen, in the event you are coming to the channel for the first time, please take a moment and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And leave me a comment if you are able to. And I want to thank you so much. Now the first thing. You know they claim that Uru Kenyatta is funding Raila Odinga. And there is this kind of blog post that I saw. Saying that um, recently Uru Kenyatta funded the 40 million budget of Azimio's demos. And one of the areas that you know government has always tried to pin Uru on is that Uru is funding Azimio's budget but the funding goes to how the Azimio should take the demonstrations to the very very deepest part of the counties meaning that the interest of Uru Kenyatta is to see that William Ruto feels the impact from a cross-sectional manner another thing that the government is being worried on is how Uhuru Kenyatta is radicalizing the Mount Kenya community in a behind the scene mode. You know, the kind of weight that Uhuru is driving in mobilizing the youth, mobilizing the strategist who can come up with swift measures to take up serious actions in the Mount Kenya region is worrying and appalling. And if you look at the home turf of the deputy president that is Rigadi Gashagwa you know he was taken aback completely taken aback by the way the Nyeri people came out to demonstrate down their tools you know the Matatu owners downing their tools and, and, and everything at a standstill so you know he was worried how Nanyuki turned out you know the president was worried how the entire nation was turning out and that is why you know, by him being the man who sponsors Azimio activities, it must worry the government. So, for William Ruto to deal with Azimio, he has identified a move to go for the root, to go for the foundation. And the foundation of everything here, according to him, is none other than Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta. Another thing which, of course, the government is not well able to contextualize is whether Uhuru will be interested in regaining his political standing. You know, out of everything that has really happened, um, it has always been said that Uhuru Kenyatta is active in politics and his activity is being seen as so robust to the extent that if the government doesn't make it public that this is the man that is uh, bedeviling us this is the man who is the thorn in our flesh then definitely we might not find a way to deal with this man so kind of when the government issues a threat they believe that this threat will resonate with a section of the people especially the people who are defined 
by where Uhuru comes from. When you hear how Ruto spoke to the people of Maimayu, he was categorical and he specifically mentioned Uhuru Kenyatta. And you know that region is a region where the inhabitants are the Kikuyu community, the Gemma community. So he wants the people to kind of start resonating with every allegation that he's making on Uhuru Kenyatta. And he wants the Gemma community to start kind of having, you know, dark paintings, just stereotyping Uhuru Kenyatta. Because when they mention that properties are being destroyed, businesses are being destroyed, the Mount Kenya community cannot take their uh, staff to this capital, Nairobi, then definitely the man behind everything of them being stolen is Uru Kenyatta. So he is kind of creating a scenario where Uru Kenyatta is the elephant and this elephant is the devil of elephant that needs to be dealt with accordingly. Now, the other thing which the government cannot actually lay its hands on is how Uhuru Kenyatta is a threat. Now, a threat in this way, you remember the, you know, fracases that have emerged, especially when the Jubilee Party was snatched from Uhuru Kenyatta. The man at the center of it was William Ruto. He has managed to beat Uhuru Kenyatta drive him out of the jubilee now there is this kind of leak which was coming out clearly enough that uru kenyatta might come up with a very a steadfast move and this move is to form another party in mount kenya that will stand to champion for the things of mount kenya region and then if it boomerangs on william ruto then it will have effect on how ruto's future will be in mount kenya region and that is something that William Ruto is not taking lightly. That is something that leaders of Mount Kenya, especially the ones who are kind of backing William Ruto, trying to walk side by side. And that starts with stereotyping Uhuru Kenyatta and then dealing with him the way we are seeing everything coming out. So this kind of enmity, this kind of, um, um, uh, you know, brawl will continue to grow will continue to steadily manifest between Ruto and Uru Kenyatta. And the last man who will be standing in all this, the last man who will have the ground in all this, I think and I really see that perhaps it might not be William Ruto because William Ruto has lost the trust. Now Uru Kenyatta will come as a man who will go to the people and tell them, I told you. I warned you. Did I not tell you? Did I, did I not show you the signs? Did I not tell you to be very careful? Now look at what has happened. And the people will definitely, automatically come up to their senses and say, we wish we knew. Ladies and gentlemen, let me hear what you have from your side. And until you meet in the next analysis, may you have a great time.